so it has arrived from the day the draw was made and the potential as it was then of an all home nations clash at the world cup reared its head the clock has been ticking down to this moment the Wales are here in many ways a victory in itself that rain drenched glorious afternoon that saw ukraine vanquished in cardiff a day that will live long in welsh memory the moment that brought the dragons back to the world stage after an absence of two generations but now their fate is intertwined with that of the old enemy just about in their own hands but coated with a sense of realism that they need not just a victory but a favor from elsewhere can they fulfill their half of the bargain with the welsh perched precariously on the thinnest of high wires england's safety net is substantial even a three goal defeat would prove sufficient to reach the round of 16 but there's a need for a performance to go hand in hand with progression this a match with a rich past enhanced by the passage of time and a relative scarcity in the crossing of swords it's being heightened to unprecedented levels by the enormity of the stakes wales england with everything it always entails but now with the opportunity for each to look the other out of the world cup england at pickford in goal walker stones maguire and shaw rice and henderson foden bellingham rashford and Kane. wales warning goal it could be a back four of nico williams mepham roden and davis but Williams could play at wing back with James on the other side. Watch this space. Alan and Ampadu in midfield. Bale and Ramsey. And Kiefer Moore playing up front. Referee Slavko Vincic from Slovenia. Wales, red shirts, white shorts and red socks. England, white shirts, dark blue shorts and white socks defending the end of the ground at which the english support is away to our right and the wales fans away to our left with a view of the goal that danny ward is defending in this first half nico williams has started on the uh, the right hand side but whether he will play as a wing back or as a full back in a four still not entirely sure the moment of peace of hesitation before the action starts divided by national loyalties united in this battle the fight against racism keenly felt players from both sides take the knee before kickoff but now we're underway a fixture born of history and geography but tonight the maths matters too an English victory ensures they qualify as group winners but there's a substantial margin for error the Welsh must win and then hope and the 104th match between England and Wales is underway England in possession inside their own half looking forward with stones away from Kane and it drifts out of play for a throw that will be taken on the Welsh left-hand side well, we're proud to be behind the home nations in this World Cup tonight unbiased unpartisan I will att attempt to be Stuart Pearce and Dean Saunders with uh, a little bit more room for manoeuvre Stuart former England captain a minute in this a special occasion for both of these nations it certainly is this is the biggest stage in world football uh, both nations have done brilliantly well to qualify and to be here uh, both arrive in the game with different sort of expectations if you like and obviously the points tally and how the game's balanced is fantastic at this stage and this, Dino made a really good point beforehand he Wales really need to put a team out there that says look if it takes us 90 minutes to win 1-0 we'll wait that long and see where it takes us England in possession able to bring the ball out from the back and it's laid back for Carl Walker good play that by Stones Walker then finding Maguire and Harry Maguire can bring it forward to the halfway line just drop it off to his left hand side for Marcus Rashford who started on the left with Phil Foden on the right for England in the 4-3-3 Declan Rice has it 40th international cap for him 
Stones, 37th for England. Stones plays it down to the right-hand side again, and it's worked back by Walker. Early possession, all in England's favour. You would expect that this will be a match, Dean Saunders, in which England will dominate, but that won't phase Rob Page or your countrymen. Uh, no, we've got uh, speed on the counter-attack. We've got class uh, if they turn up. But we're definitely playing a back, a back four with Ampadu and Joe Allen sat in front of the back four. And then we've got three in front of them. Dan James on the left, Aaron Ramsey in the middle, Gareth Bale on the right and Kiefer Moore up front on his own. So we're set up to absorb pressure. Interesting that Bale and James are playing that way round the final Premier League game before the World Cup breaks or Thorn take on Manchester United. James came on as a substitute up against Luke Shaw. He played on the right-hand side in that game. And he gave Shaw a torrid 25 minutes. So I would imagine that James will do his best to get over and have a go at Shaw at some stage. But it's England in possession here, nil nil with Rashford trying to play it inside the penalty area. Kind little ricochet gave him a second bite of the cherry. Ramsey claims it's a handball by Henderson. The play continues, and England can recycle it again with Luke Shaw on the England left. It's gone back for Maguire with three minutes in here on Talk Sport. Jim Bradford, Stuart Pearce, and Dean. Saunders talking through the action from up at Bin Ali Stadium, the most westerly of the eight World Cup venues here in Qatar. And across town, 15 miles southeast of here, Iran against the United States will have a big bearing on what happens as well. And we'll keep you up to date with all the significant events as soon as they unfold. Shaw in possession, is 10 yards inside Welsh territory, he's faced up by Bale, plays it into Rashford and back it goes again for Maguire. Maguire's inside his own half of the centre circle, he's just found stones, back for Maguire again and one of the criticisms the other night was that England at times didn't play at a great tempo, that perhaps that's something that could be levelled of them in these very early exchanges, just getting a feel of the ball, goes back for Pickford, Pickford to Walker who Another almost Manchester City right diagonal run in from the right back position into the heart of midfield and laying it off for Shaw. Uh, back he goes for Harry Maguire again. We're four minutes in and it's nil-nil. Yeah, a couple of things tactically I think Luke Shaw needs to gallop on and say to Gareth Bell, if you don't want to track me, we're going to overload your fullback two on one. I'm not sure Gareth Bell wants to do that hard yards going backwards. He wants to sit with Luke Shaw in his eye line, ready for the counter attack. But we weren't sure how uh, the midfield three of England was going to line up. By the looks of things at the moment, Rice is the deep line one with Henderson and Bellingham advanced in inside right, inside left positions. And of the two, Bellingham probably has a starting position three or four yards in advance of Henderson, but that's a role, of course, that he has uh, featured in so often with Fabinho behind him in the Liverpool midfield. Jordan Henderson, only a rare start for England, this one. It's a fourth in England's last 28 games. Shaw takes a throw. Straight to Joe Allen, as it turned out, but England very quickly get possession back again. Allen is in there to get the better of his one-time Liverpool team, Nick Henderson, and then a free kick has gone Wales' his way, about 12 yards inside their own half. Five and a half gone, Wales nil, England nil, here's Dean Saunders. I was just going to ask Stuart there, you know, you, you, you be in Luke Shaw's shoes now, you've got Gareth Bale, do you leave him, or do you, and bomb on? Or do you think to yourself, I can't leave Gareth Bale open the right wing on his own with Harry Maguire inside him? Uh, I'd ask the question, is this the Gareth Bale of old that uh, can bomb on great energy and whatever? At this moment in time, Gareth Bale's gone inside, so he doesn't have to do the work coming back and left it with Kiefer Moore to fill in his role. I, I don't think he wants to track Shaw back. If he doesn't want that, I'm giving him what he doesn't want. Sure, you just test him. Just keep testing him. You'd have to. Here's Maguire, down to Shaw again on the uh, England left-hand side. And back he goes for Harry Maguire once more, slightly behind Maguire, who just had to backtrack six or seven yards to bring the ball under control, but there was no Welshman anywhere near him, and Maguire can now bring it forward and slip it down towards Rashford on the left. Rashford playing it back, cushioning it into where he thought Bellingham was going to be, but it was in behind Bellingham. And then there's a foul by Rice on Ramsey, which gives Wales a free kick, ten yards inside their own half. 
These players know each other so well, of course. It was 11 years ago tomorrow, incidentally, that Bale and Kane first played for Tottenham together in the starting lineup. Kyle Walker featured that day as well. And so many old former loyalties uh, are being renewed. Players in opposition that have uh, got club loyalties these days as well. Ball out of play for a throw that will be taken on the England right-hand side with Walker. Just in towards Harry Kane, who's still waiting for his first goal from open play for England in 2022. Kiefer Moore, one of four English-born players in this starting lineup for Wales. Moore from Torquay, working it out to the left-hand side, but uh, away from everybody and out for a throw that will be taken by England away to the right-hand side. Seven and a half guys, Wales nil, England nil. It's nil nil as well between Iran and the United States. And if it stays the way that. Both results are at the moment, England win the group and Iran go through with them, but there's a long way to go. Jordan Henderson wearing eight for England, bringing it forward, clipped over the halfway line, flipped down by Roden, to his left for Ben Davis, launches it forward, Ramsey gives chase, who's always second favourite against Stones, but his header falls into space in the midfield, and it's picked up easily by Dan James. And James will lay it back, down for Chris Meppen. Meppen to Nico Williams, restored to his favoured flank on the right-hand side tonight. Back from him for Ethan Ampadu, another Devonian in the low side. And his ball flies over Dan James's head as they look to switch it quickly and try and isolate James against Walker. And he goes out of play for an England throw. Eight gone, it's 0-0. Yeah, I think with England, England like to settle into a game. For me, it's all, it almost should turn into a training ground practice, I think, with England. It's got to be a forward pass. Sometimes that would help us, I think. I think we play a little bit cautiously, slowly. And I think Wales are quite happy with that. Forwards, back, sideways. There's a really good battle going on in the middle of the pitch. Aaron Ramsey's job description today is to stop Declan and Rice getting on the ball. But if Aaron Ramsey makes a run forward, Kiefer Moore drops on Declan Rice. One of them is trying to stop Declan getting on the ball. Here's Walker, firing it high, Bellingham chesting it into the path of Foden, who hasn't been able to get any service so far. That might change now. Kane slipping it through. It's Rashford. Good save, Danny Ward. Off his line really quickly. Got his body in the way, 16 yards from goal. Rashford had to hit it past him first time. Ward got something on it to make the save. England haven't offered an awful lot in an attacking context so far, but one incisive through ball from Kane, and Rashford was in. Absolute quality ball, Declan Rice, anything loose, Declan Rice covers three, four metres in a split second to turn possession over, and all of a sudden you know when Kane gets half turn, he's going to slide a pass. Good movement by Rashford. Stone's playing it out for Walker. He's just inside his own half, and uh, he again will turn it back to John Stones once more. At the uh, only opportunity of the opening ten minutes. And still nil nil here at the Ahmed Bin Ali on a night where you're not aware of the maths. Wales have to win. And England can afford to lose by uh, anything up to three goals. But they want to win the group as well. Walker's done well, winning it back from James. Play forward towards Foden, slipping it back for Carl Walker again, towards the edge of the area, Henderson clipping it in, but cleared easily by Nico Williams, the Welsh right back, bounces over the head of Kiefer Moore, which takes some doing, and Rice can mop up for England and go back for Maguire, first uh, eight or nine minutes brought a fair bit of shadow boxing between the two nations, but England now are trying to step up the tempo and put a little bit more weight in the artillery. Rice going back for Harry Maguire again. And now back for Declan Rice once more. Down for the left back Shaw. And Shaw back towards halfway for Declan Rice. And England once more just in a position that they can string the passes together. Wales keeping a tight shape behind them as Dean was saying Ramsey up in close support of Kiefer Moore with one of them on Rice all the time. And England will work it back once more inside their own half for John Stones. The rush for chance there uh, doesn't happen if you play a back five. It's exactly the reason you play a back five. Rashford's made a run inside Nico Williams and because there's only two centre-backs inside him, he finds the gap. If there was three centre-backs there, he would, that gap wouldn't exist. So has Rob Page made a mistake then by well, playing a four? Not yet, he missed. But not yet. 
Are you saying the mistakes in the past? Well, there's another one there. It, it, you know, you, you, you start smelling the danger on the bench, thinking, have I done the right thing there? They've already got in after 10 minutes. They credit to the goalie there. He's done well, hasn't he? Got down the line of the ball, done really well. Great save. Johnny Ward replacing Wayne Hennessy. Came on after Hennessy's red card in the match against Iran with six minutes to go. They played a lot of stoppage time and he conceded twice. It's Meppen in towards Joe Allen. And Allen forced to play straight back for Chris Meppen again under pressure from Bellingham. Nico Williams goes long, straight through into the hands of Jordan Pickford. England coming into this with just one win in the last eight games. Wales with only one win in their last ten. And only a couple of victories in 2022 for the Welsh. One against Austria, one against Ukraine. But they were both matches that kept their World Cup dream alive. And they're hoping for the power of three tonight. In the same situation. The win will go home. And they're hoping that they will be able to get the job done once more. It's nil-nil. England with the one clear-cut opportunity. Ward saving from Rashford. Walker, lovely crossfield ball down to this near touchline. The England left. Shaw's got tired of controlling. Does so neatly, no pressure on him. Feels for handball against Williams as Shaw trying to flick it down for Rashford and the Slovenian referee concurs and it's a free kick to England and the first chance to load the penalty area here for a set piece. Maguire and Stone's going for it. I'm, uh, I'm still getting a little bit disappointed with 13 minutes into the game and England have raised the tempo once seriously and they've got in beyond Wales. I think we play too slowly at times. I saw it in the last game, I've seen it in this game as well. I'd rather us play quickly and I'd rather us play forward a little bit more often. I'll come back to that point in a moment. Rashford and Shaw standing over this free kick, which is just in from the left-hand touchline. So it could be a Rashford in swinger or a Shaw away swinger. Stones is forward. Maguire as uh, is often the case, the deepest of the England players in a position to attack this, often they will try and get it to him to head it back across the face of the six-yard box. Rice makes a near post run, goes deep, Kiefer Moore does well, climbs the highest, gets it away, back out for Foden through a crowd, and he's dragged it wide at Danny Ward's near post. And he goes out of play with through 14 goalless minutes. And just going back to that point you're making about England tempo, why is that the case? If that's something that so many people see and talk about is it match management are they trying to conserve their strength in humid conditions what is it why does that happen that england don't play with more zip more frequently i i think we we sort of deem ourselves as a cultured build-up side now which is fine which is all well and good but i think it's a little bit too slow a little bit too sideways and i think it suits wells in this game alone and any other game i've just watched a lot of games in the world cup and teams that really get after teams i watched brazil yesterday everything is going forward everything is forward 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 you can't always do it but i think we should do it more regularly than we actually do bellingham slightly back for sure those are the thoughts of former england captain stuart pierce and sure will bring it forward to find Jude Bellingham, 15 minutes in, it's Wales nil, England nil, no goals between the USA and Iran, and we'll find out what's happened so far very shortly, Henderson wins the throw as Ampadu blocks his progress, and it's a throw to England, not too far from the Welsh corner flag, Henderson's going to leave it for Walker to take, Kane, languidly making his way forward towards the near post area, Ben Davis keeping an eye on him, throw taken into the feet of Foden with his clever quick feet and trickery, he's got inside the box and then quickly back out again but maintained possession, England work it deeper, Rice goes further back for Stones, Stones to Maguire the deepest of England's outfield players but quickly fall for Shaw, Wales who shuffle across, Bale who I don't think has had a touch of the ball as yet, and just watching Luke Shaw play it back for Maguire, now Kiefer Moore goes to engage, Stones will be able to bring it forward. And still Stones has it, a little bit of pressure on him from Dan James, for Maguire is played in and then Shaw and Rice combine in the midfield again. Clip forward by Shaw, Kane trying to flick it on, Rashford chasing, clearance from Ethan Ampadu, Luke Shaw picking up the loose pieces and then Kane brought down by Meppen. Six yards outside the penalty area, left of centre. Chris Mappham gives too many fouls away. I mean, I know he's playing against Harry Kane, but 
all, he's got his back to goal there, all he's got to do is just stand up, he's trying to win the ball, he tries to win the ball all the time, sometimes you just got to accept the striker's got it and just get your arm on his back, look between his legs at the ball and make sure you don't get beat. But now they've got a great chance. I think Harry Kane had one thing on his uh, mind there. When I received this, come and have a nibble at it for me. You know, he, he's played for the free kick and the defender was naive enough to uh, have a dibble at it. So Ward is lining up his wall. And Kiefer Moore, the tallest in the wall, stands second of the four from left to right. And he's the one that is doing the lining up with Ward. Ward will now move away from his post. He's happy. So Moore doing his best to block that near post area as part of this defensive quartet. Stones makes his way in front of the wall and then comes back out again. Rashford stands on the edge of the wall. He's, he's got to be a metre away from the nearest Welshman. He isn't, but the referee doesn't appear to mind. Declan Rice might be the man that's shaping up to shoot here could also be clicked in by Shaw for the big guns at the far post where Maguire is waiting England with a false two-man wall so no Welshman's got a view of the ball at the moment it's not Shaw, Rice leaves it Shaw chips it in, Maguire coming around the back heads it across the face of goal that was his intention but he didn't get the angle right nor did he get the deflection he was hoping for and he goes out of play for a goal kick that will be taken by Wales we're 18 minutes in Let's find out what's going on in the other game in the group tonight. It's the United States against Iran, and here's TalkSports Nigel Adley. And it's USA nil, Iran nil, but the US have been the dominant side so far. Yunus Musa with a header over the top, and Pulisic with also a shot, which was too close to Beer and Von. Commentary on TalkSport 2, USA nil, Iran nil. 18 gone, and as Nigel says, that is live for you on TalkSport 2. We've got all 64 games of the FIFA World Cup covered for you on the talk sport network back tomorrow's group c and d reach their conclusion starting with uh, tunisia against france and australia against denmark they both kick off at three and at seven it's poland argentina here on talk sport and mexico against saudi arabia the other game in that group is on talk sport too wells and keeping the ball in on the far touch line have uh, laid it briskly back for Ward, Ward kicks it forward, that becomes a fight ball, Shaw's first to it, Meppen heads it away, and then Stones, just trotting onto it under a, there's no more than lip service of pressure from Ramsey, will lay it back for Maguire, Maguire to Rice, Rice down to Luke Shaw again, so much has been made of Gareth Bale's performances in this World Cup, and well, producer Declan McCarthy is keeping account of how many times Bale has touched the ball. For 19 minutes in Dean Saunders, he's touched it three times. Does that concern you or no. are you happy for him being there just with his capability from free kicks? He's not on his own. England have had the more... Like, the first 15 minutes England have had probably 90% possession, but... Um, if we get a free kick on the edge of the box where England just had one, that was Gareth Bale range. That's why he's out there. I mean, will we ever see Gareth Bale at top speed ever again? I just thought that looking at him. Is he is he gonna sprint like we used to know? Wells forced to defend on the edge of the penalty area as a header over the top. Almost got Rashford in, and then Moore's gonna chase after it for the Welsh and just in stretching tries to stop Carl Walker getting the ball he just caught him and it's going to be a free kick that England will take midway inside their own half what have you made of Bale's performance tonight Bale's selection even? I think his body language is telling me that I don't overly want to track Shaw back but Shaw is doing nothing to expose him for, for that lack of in my world not wanting to track back England are playing at such a slow pace they're making on what I've seen a very average well side comfortable within the game no you're right all he's got to do Luke Shaw is Rashford goes inside and Luke Shaw bombs on and give Nico Williams a massive problem Rashford in possession just the draws the foul from Nico Williams for the referees played the advantage England still had it four from Rice cushioned layoff from Foden out of the England right hand side Walker to Henderson and then back for Carl Walker again Stones shows for the ball Wales condensed defensively back within 30 yards of their own penalty area by this England possession Shorter the dark-haired Rice 
Shaw, then back for Rice again. Good couple of one-twos between the pair of them. Bellingham waiting for the layoff. Rashford back for Shaw. Far inside the penalty area. England had a man over Jordan Henderson on the far post. And he couldn't control it. He has kept it in and recycled it. But a good chance came to nothing. Walker back for Rice. Can't get into a shooting position, but he can work it wide. Low ball fizzes across the edge of the six. And it's whacked away by Meppen. Dealing with Jordan Henderson's cross and putting it out for a throw. What I would say is, it's all very well counting how many touches Gareth Bell's had. Declan needs to start counting how many touches Rashford had and playing backwards. The proviso for me, for any winger, is receive it on the half turn, get the ball and go and take your winger on, as, er as your fullback on, as early as you possibly can in a game. We're 20 minutes in, 22 minutes in, and neither of our wingers uh, Rashford is built and designed for someone to run at people he'll scare the life out of you especially Nico Williams and he's not done it once as yet Ben Davis has just fouled Jordan Henderson to give England a free kick on the right hand touchline so another chance to get the big guns forward and Maguire waits only three four yards from goal Stones makes his way to the six as well Kane on the edge of it Rice by the penalty spot, Bellingham is in there, Rashford lurking with intent in the D, right for the delivery, clears everybody, Rashford chasing after it, will be able to pick it up on the left-hand touchline. And now we'll run to the corner of the box and cut in on his right foot, it's a decent shot, not Nico Williams off his head, off his feet, and he's gone down inside the penalty area, Williams bravely wearing the shot from Rashford. I don't think it's knocked him out, but he's crumpled to the floor and seems to be in some distress. Well, it's good. It's a good block. That's what you're there for as a defender. Get blocks in, but... I mean, Stuart, you know, you, we're talking about Luke Shaw there and Rashford, and you can see that Kiefer Moore's got a problem. He's got the two centre-backs to stop coming out of the back. Eventually, Harry Maguire walks over the halfway line and he gives it to Luke Shaw. You'd think Rashford was experienced enough now, he's played with different left-backs all his career, to say to Luke Shaw, get up here next to me and get Gareth Bale playing left-back. I'll run inside, you've won the overlap. You think, he, you think they talk between them? Well, you've just seen there with Rashford, uh, albeit it was Joe Allen who come to front him up. He just pushed it and run, whether it be Williams or whether it be Joe Allen or whatever. They've, I'm not sure they've got the ability to stay with Rashford when he really comes after you. Those of course it's Stuart Pearce and Dean Saunders. Dean on the breakfast tomorrow morning. Whether he's in a good mood or a bad one, he will be there, along with uh, Laura Woods and Ali McCoy, Gabby Agbon Lahore as well, live from the guitar tomorrow. Uh, when you wake up on your way to work between 6 and 10, and then Stu on with White and Jordan tomorrow between 10 and 1. Nico Williams still there receiving treatment. Um, that gives me the opportunity to remind you this Saturday, TalkSport's going to bring you live and exclusive radio commentary of Tyson Fury against Derek Chisora, the trilogy. That's the WBC World Heavyweight title. Aaron, Adam Catchall, Gareth A. Davis, Andy Clark, and Spencer Oliver, your team for Fury Chisora 3. Saturday evening, listen on air via smart speaker or download the Talk Sport app for free. Let's quickly go back to the Alpha Mama Stadium. Nigel Adderley. And it's still Iran nil, USA nil. Same old story for Greg Berhalter. The US are dominant, but they failed to score the latest chance across him from where from the right hand side, palmed away from Beeren Bond. Commentary on Talk Sport 2, but it's still nil nil. And nil-nil in this one as well. So it's as you were in Group B. It's England 5, around 4, USA 3, Wales 2. England going through as group winners with Iran at the moment with three quarters of the games still to go. Nico Williams back on his feet, played back underway. England trying to play round him. He's done well to come back and uh, recover with the aid of Nepham and the Nottingham Forest man shipping it down the touchline people more trying to control it can only poke it out of play for an England throw on halfway nil-nil here with 26 minutes gone between Wales and England with 26 minutes in and one player who has to try and get an involvement in the game Jude Bellingham I've not seen Jude Bellingham get a contact to the ball a meaningful one let's say you know and uh, he might have to work a little bit harder to get out this side with Shaw and with uh, Rashford to offer an overload if he can. He's just had a scooping pass out to the England right. 
Foden had to retrace his steps a little to be able to control it and it took an awkward spinning bounce in front of him as well but England have it, work it down the line, two against two down on the right hand touchline but a shove there on Ben Davis has given the Welsh a free kick down by their own corner flag. Dean, it was a silly foul to give away, it's Ben Davis is running into the corner flag, he's, he's in desperate trouble and Foden just pushes him in the back and gets him out of jail. Thanks very much. So nil-nil it remains. This the 104th meeting of the two nations. Only one of those at a major tournament when Gareth Bale gave Wales the lead in Lons in Euro 2016 and England came back to win it 2-1. Sparty and Sturridge came off the bench to score. And Sturridge is winner in the second minute of stoppage time. England have only lost three of the last 37 matches between the two countries. Stretches back to the mid-50s. They've never been beaten by Wales in a competitive international. Welsh hoping that that will end here and now. And what will be their first win over England in uh, any game since Mark Hughes made his debut as a 20-year-old back in 1984 in Wrexham. Scored the winner. It's Keeper Moore. One of these Welsh players born the last time that they beat England. Hoping to do so tonight is Harry Kane. Good sliding challenge. Dispossesses him from Ramsey. Kane just waiting. And waiting that little bit too long before delivering the pass. And then Jordan Henderson comes back, tracking back with Nico Williams as fouled his former club teammate. And uh, Slavko Vincic, the referee, just has a little word, but it's going to be a free kick to Wales. And England still haven't had a yellow card in this tournament so far. Uh, good disciplinary record to take into the latter stages rendering any uh, potential threats of a suspension irrelevant is Allen from the free kick work back behind square for Joe Roden uh, playing his club football in France at the moment forward out towards Dan James James playing it forward and then lunging to try and win it after a heavy touch and he's caught his man and that'll be a free kick which will be taken over on the uh, England right hand side James acknowledging straight away that that was a poor challenge and he's going to receive the first yellow card of the night we heard the yelp of pain from here James offering the hand of apology just turning away and Slavko Vincic has uh, taken his name yeah, he's just a bit clumsy there he's, he's just stuck his foot in he's late and it's a definite yellow card there Stones is okay he's back on his feet uh, but James in the book and it remains 0-0 in this game and 0-0 between Iran and the United States as well here on Talk Sport Harry Maguire square to his right hand side four stones Charles is really at a premium I don't think Pickford has had a meaningful touch of the ball so far certainly hasn't had a touch with his hands up to this point but Wales will be happy hanging in realistically if they are going to make it through they need the other game to be a draw which it is at the moment and 1-0's the most likely scoreline for a Wales success so Rob Page will be happy with the foundations that are being laid and the guy Southgate might be a little bit frustrated that uh, some of the things for which his team were criticised the other night up country in the desert at Albate against the United States have reared their head again and here's Luke Shaw Yarding from the left-hand side for England, just waiting, Bellingham taking it on the half-turn, but Meppen was in there very quickly, Bale comes back, loses a 50-50 against Shaw, Rice can play it forward, Foden played back in by Henderson, just turns away, back for Jordan Henderson again, Henderson to Walker to Rice, Moore very quickly on the scene, so too Ramsey, Rice plays a hurry ball to his right for Jordan Henderson, who's certainly kept the width, for England over on that right hand touchline in conjunction with Walker. England will bring it forward the gallivanting Harry Maguire on his inside the penalty area and that is why he doesn't play as a left winger because he's <laughs> fired a ball in about three times faster and twice as high as it needed and straight out of play for a throw. 
They had eight years working for Brian Clough, right? And he said the difference between when you play against an inferior side, no disrespect to Wales, speed of thought and speed of doing things. At this moment in time, England are not doing things at a high tempo that will ask too many questions of Wales. And I think Wales will be absolutely delighted with his first half at present. Well, I was going to say what Robert, the state of play, Robert Page is thinking right now. Right, what we got, 31 minutes gone. We're, it's nil-nil, we've not conceded a goal. We're, we've hung on for a period of 10 minutes there. We I felt like we were hanging on, but so far, so good. You know that Bale and Ramsey and Dan James, they'll do something at some point. Just keep it as it is. And the boom, in possession for the Welsh. Didn't want to, didn't come off with Ben Davis. The nerves are evident, which is an observation, certainly not a criticism, but you can, can tell that this is a game with a, a billing beyond most World Cup games, that it has that extra edge, a little bit of a frisson in the air. So much on the line. England not necessarily helped by the fact that they know that they have this massive safety net and that they can get away with a, a rank bad result and still potentially win the group. And here England will bring it forward again with Bellingham finding Maguire. Now Maguire towards halfway down towards Luke Shaw. Shaw's got Rashford outside him. Bellingham making a, a run past Harry Kane. Pass play towards Rashford. Oh, Shaw made the run but Nepham read it easily, the ball not hit hard enough in behind Shaw, then Wales given away with Ramsey unable to find Ampadu, Foden playing it back for Rice, Rice to Henderson, back for Rice, all at close quarters, now Walker can deliver from the right, Bellingham coming to meet it, but Chris Mepham's there first, and it's out of play for a throw. Jim, I've been looking at teams that I deem as good enough to win the World Cup, and what trait do that team have? And I'm looking at France, I'm looking at Argentina, uh, you know, you're looking at Brazil. And what they do is when they turn the ball over, they come after you. They come after you with pace and power. I'm looking at England's midfield, and it's just like static. You know, when Declan Rice can't get on the ball, I'm looking at Bellingham and Henderson. Uh, are, you, are you finding the pockets? Are you working hard enough to find the pockets? Joe Allen's trying to stop the ball going into Harry Kane's feet. He can't do both jobs. I just don't think they're moving enough. And, and you're right, Stuart. Pass forward first. If you can't go forward, go sideways. If you can't go sideways, go backwards. That's the order. Well, Nico Williams is now receiving further treatment again, and uh, they may well have to make a change to Welsh. She's just sat down on the edge of his own penalty area. Remember, he, he took a Rashford shot in the face about 10 minutes or so ago and uh, received lengthy treatment. And Wales are getting Connor Roberts ready. Let's go pitch side to uh, Talksport correspondent Faye Carruthers. Good evening, Faye. Evening, Jim. I've just seen Luke Shaw head over to the bench and have a quick word with Gareth Southgate and take on board some instructions. Clearly, the bench not quite happy with, as you said, England going forward. And Luke Shaw needs to do more to deliver some balls into the box, I think. I totally agree. I think he's had opportunities here Gareth Bell's come across to, to shut him off but gone level with him now I would say right if you're going level with me and you're standing five yards inside let's have a foot race I'm going to at least make you go backwards I can always check out Rice is always there for a ball inside but don't make that be your first option well, Williams is back on his feet um, they were certainly testing his field of vision amongst other things a few moments ago. Connor Roberts is stripped and ready for action. Wales number 14 who is omitted from the starting lineup tonight. Uh, he looks as though he's ready to come on and Williams' race might be run. He's still got two of the uh, Welsh medical staff with him but yeah they're helping him off and his shirt is over his face just for a moment as he comes off now and Wales are forced to make a change here Roberts for Nico Williams I think there's a lot of criticism about looking after players for me this is a decision made by the medics more so than the player the player looks as he wants to stay on potentially for me the medics have made the right call he's obviously got blurred vision he's, the ball's hit him right in the forehead and uh, he's gone down, he's got back up, but he's obviously got double vision and he's told them, well, once you tell the physios that now, off you go. Well, we'll try and confirm that it is a concussion substitution rather than uh, a rank and file one. 
it's uh, up on the monitors here on the big screen as suspected concussion. So Roberts for Williams, first change, long throw from England inside the penalty area. Maguire going up for it, and the referee saw a push. Kiefer Moore going to ground, free kick to Wales inside their box. 36 minutes gone, Wales nil, England nil. Free kick to Danny Ward, who's made the one significant save of the night. And it has been a night where goal-scoring opportunities been at a real premium so far. Let's find out what's going on in the other game. Nigel Adderley. 36 minutes played, still Iran nil, USA nil. US have had six attempts on target. Iran nil so far. The latest for the US, a sergeant layoff for Weyer, but he fizzed it too high. It's nil nil, commentary on TalkSport 2. Oh, remember, the best possible result for Wales in that game is a draw. Bellingham, no foul on Kiefer Moore. Went to ground, Bellingham can bring it away. England will try and get the body sport quickly. Rashford is in space on the left. Conor Roberts tracking back with him now. England couldn't work it across. Clever flip from Bellingham on the turn. Gets a return ball. Flicks it back for Foden. And he has plays it over the bar. Much better from England. Constructive passing. Jude Bellingham. I just try to get a bit more volume from the supporters behind the goal. Maybe not realising that that's the Welsh end because he was uh, just asking for the volume there from the crowd of red clad supporters uh, way to our left. There are some England fans in there as well. That much better though as far as England were concerned. A succession of five or six forward passes at tempo. All of a sudden panic stations in the Welsh back line. I wonder whether the message got across from the England bench during the time in which Williams was receiving his treatment for the concussion. And England a little bit more purposeful. Wales now trying to bring it forward. Bale almost getting the better of Maguire. Shaw comes across but has only been able to present it for Ethan Ampadu. Ampadu to Ramsey on the edge of the penalty area. Setting up Joe Allen with the right foot in Howitzer which Rice blocked and didn't get to the edge of the area and now England can bring it away. And it's Marcus Rashford coming over halfway. Faced up by Meppen. Just takes a touch inside. Back for Rice. Rice for Henderson. Now out towards Walker. Wales have got everybody back behind the ball again, but England are still making progress. Foden looking for Kane, can't find him. Cleared out for Henderson. Deflected cross. And the overhead kick attempt from Rashford. Dramatic, but far from accurate. Nil-nil. But a goal in the other game, Nigel Adderley. And it's been coming, it's the USA 1, a run nil, Sergio Des heading the ball back across the face of goal. Christian Pulisic was brave, he collided with Beeren Bon, but he did enough to bundle the ball in. This won't be enough for Wales, but the US could be heading through, they lead a run by a goal to nil. So that means as things stand right now, it's England 5, USA 5, Iran 3, Wales 2. So England top of the group and the States going through with them as things stand right now. England calmly controlling and playing out from the edge of their own penalty area. Welsh yet to have a sight of goal, not a shot on or off target. It's that Joe Allen effort who was blocked by Rice. England bring it away. They've only had one shot on target themselves. Foden's done well. Kane, Rashford slipping it in off Roberts. Foden have made a great run towards the near post. Roberts stopped the cross finding him. England get the first corner of the game. So the two best efforts for England so far this half has been on the counter-attack, if you like, but playing aggressively, playing with pace, playing with power, and all of a sudden it left four Welsh players still on the halfway line. I think he chose the wrong option there, Rashford, didn't you? He, he, I think he seen somebody on the penalty spot, but it just needed to bend one round the six-yard box, which is tapping for Foden. So Foden will take the corner, but before he's allowed to do so, referee Vincic goes across to the penalty spot, where three Welsh defenders are doing their best to block three English attacking runs. Kane, Maguire and Stones. Foden can now take a sends it in very deep. Maguire peels away, heads it back to the edge of the area. Joe Allen with the touch can't get it clear. Rashford trying to help it back in and not taking any chances when it looks as though it might be a goal kick. Ben Davis just got his forehead to the head of Allen. It'll be another corner which Foden will try to cross the take. First one on the left, this one on the right. States leading around 1-0, this one 0-0 between Wales and England on Talk Sport. 
Ali Rand State's game continues live on TalkSport 2. Foden, a left-footed in-swing in delivery, in behind Kane, headed away emphatically by Joe Roden. And out for a throw, which England will take 10 yards from the corner flag, but still count inside the Welsh final third at the moment. Five attempts without reply. As Robert far as England Robert. are concerned, but only the one on target so far, which was well saved by Danny Ward, and England with Bellingham have it in the midfield, and now it finds Shaw. Shaw's got Rashford outside him, he's got Kane making a, a run towards the corner of the penalty area. Rashford receives the pass, goes back for Maguire, Maguire square for Stones, and Stones back for Jordan Pickford. Robert Page would have got news of that goal going in. I don't think it changes anything because there's no reason Iran can't equalise, so he'll, he'll want to get to half-time at nil-nil. He can always change things, but at the moment we, we haven't got a goal threat, but we're still in there, we're hanging in there. So you know and I know, Dino, you can't go 90 minutes without having an effort or two on goal, and it will happen. Yeah, yeah, uh, and the players out there tell you they've got a goal record. There's three or four of them out there that, given half a yard round the box, they've got a bit of sting in their feet. There's an England side that kept its first clean sheet in five games. Last time out against the United States, having conceded ten in the previous four matches. Maguire sending a long diagonal ball for Foden. Trying to flick it back in on the half volley from a very tight angle. And it goes out of play for a goal kick that'll be taken away to our left. And we've got two and a half minutes to go to half time. Think what you spotted, a bit of action down in the Welsh technical area. Yeah, Gareth Bale just like rubbing his hamstring and saying something to the bench. I don't know whether, and then he stretched it. Um, I don't know, he did shout over to the bench as if like I'm in a bit of trouble here. Hope he hasn't pulled his hamstring. Ward takes this goal kick for Wales, it's nil-nil. Long ball launched high up into the night sky. Brought back down, eventually it finds Kane. Ramsey trying to get in there, has come away with the ball, but only after James has fouled Kane. Just on the edge of the centre circle. James, the one player who's had his name taken so far tonight in terms of uh, potential uh, suspensions incidentally I mentioned earlier England haven't got anybody on a yellow card Wales have got Meppen, Roden and Bale all on yellows and should Wales go through and they would miss the round of 16 game if they were to pick up a caution tonight okay laying it back for Rice Rice drilling the ball out, Vara slightly flexion off the top of Joe Allen's head, down for Luke Shaw, Shaw to Bellingham, left hand side of the penalty area, yeah, he's pulled it back, Shaw couldn't get a shot in, he actually left it for Kane, then Rice comes onto it and feeds Rashford, everybody back for Wales with the exception of Moore, he's on the edge of the penalty area, Bellingham trying to find a way through, and Roberts amidst the forest of legs can stick his right foot out and can see another corner. Well we've got to keep fighting, I mean we've got everyone back, the lads are desperately hanging on, England look like they're about to score any minute. We've just got to keep fighting and keep blocking shots and keep heading balls away. Foden raises his right arm above his head. He's going to take this corner left-footed. Swung in towards Maguire. Beaten to it again. Headed back into the fray by Rashford. And again, repelled by the Welsh aerial contingent at the back. It was Ben Davis. Bellingham stops the through ball finding Dan James on the counter attack and England can recycle it and get it forward again for Maguire who's still forward having not retreated yet from the previous corner nil nil with seconds remaining in the first half and we'll find out very shortly how many extra minutes are going to be added on the ball is at the feet of uh, Luke Shaw Shaw back for Stones and he's just drilled it straight into the hands of Danny Ward five added minutes at the end of this first half anyway that's good news as far as Wales are concerned as well because not knowing what's going to happen in the next game you want games that kick off simultaneously you want your game to finish later than the other one just so that you've got a few minutes and you know exactly what the definitive match situation might be so five minutes of added time at the end of the first half of this one as Rashford lays it back for Luke Shaw and Shaw just side foot it forward into the feet of Harry Kane nice touch from Kane he scored 43 goals for England as their captain but ball through the midfield wasn't the best and Allen will be able to pick it up James quickly stopped by Walker who knew the danger of letting James get a run but Bale is struggling Stewart's just pointing 
him out now. The Welsh number 11 is not quite hobbling. It's not quite a full hobble, but he looks done. Well, he's not looked right in the previous two games, and I think he's just got himself out there, you know. He's struggling, but then he sprints. You don't sprint if your hamstring's gone. I'm not sure I'd call that a sprint day night, to be fair. He's got a piano on his back. Yeah, it was a, a sprint with a small S as he uh, just made his way towards the touchline, trying to offer himself for a, a pass. Ball goes back for Ward. Long clearance from him. It's nil-nil between England and Wales. And more action on the Welsh bench. Brennan Johnson is getting ready and looks as though he's going to come on before half-time. Bale pointing across to Roberts to put the ball out of play so the change could be made. He didn't. He went back instead for his goalkeeper. Ward firing that towards the far touchline. England win it out there, but just heading with Carl Walker back into the congested midfield area. Joe Allen is there. Allen's given it away. It's passed it straight to Jordan Henderson. Foden makes a run ahead of him. Finds Kane. Kane slipping it into the feet of Bellingham. Bellingham for Luke Shaw. Back inside the area. Mappen on the stretch was able to block it. And James tries to bring it away, but he didn't get it away for long. Ampadu giving it straight to an England man. Kane with a shot on the turn. It's deflected off Mappen. Goes out of play for a corner. Wales will now be able to make the change if they so desire. Ordinarily, you wouldn't want to whilst defending a corner. And in fact, it looks as though Johnson's just sat back down for a moment. He's getting so close to half time now that they might just try and wait. But Foden will come across to take this corner. I'll tell you what, Jim, this could be the worst thing for England. Because at the moment, Bell is offering no threat at all. And if it is him who's coming off, you know Johnson will when he's got that element of pace and power. So five inside the penalty area yeah, for this Phil Foden corner again. It's sent in deep, headed back in, and well claimed by Danny Ward. Stones at the far post with a looping head of Ward. Had to take a couple of very quick steps back. I was able to make the catch. Now, you're aware that you can only make substitutions at three separate junctures during playing time. So it makes sense, really, if Wales can get Bale to hang on for another minute or so to keep him out there. They then make the Johnson change at the break, and it doesn't count as one of those substitution junctures. Another Welshman just went down for a moment. Ampadu, he's OK, he's going to be able to continue. Now we're in the last seconds of this first half, which is nil-nil. I think they must be aware of that down there, Jim. That's probably why they haven't made the change. You know, it could be absolutely vital that you keep those subs up your sleeve. Ward with a huge clearance. Looking for Kiefer Moore to be able to head it on. Maguire came out and tried to defend it. It's cleared the pair of them, gone on towards Ramsey, and Roberts wins the throw. In an attacking position that... Marcus Rashford has tried to stop him taking quickly and he'll be spoken to by referee Vincic. And Roberts has been called over as well, although he didn't appear to do anything wrong there. All he wanted to do was get the ball back so that Wales could take the throw as quickly as possible. So Roberts nervously peering over his shoulder to see where the TV cameraman is. And now he's tiptoed backwards towards the uh, edge of the hoardings and he'll prepare to throw this long inside the penalty area. No. A little bit of a disguise on, it has gone back instead for Mepham, Allen picking it up, Allen on the edge of the area, and he's curved an effort high and wide of Pickford's top left-hand corner. Wales, first meaningful shot of the game, coming in first half stoppage time. Well, there you go, you, you get a long throw, Roberts has faked that he was going to throw it into the box and threw it square, Mepham's laid it into Joe Allen, he's got it on his left foot, tried to bend it in the top corner, unlucky. A moment that will give a little bit of heart as far as Wales are concerned. Gareth Bale leaves the field here. I wonder whether this conceivably might be his last moments in a Welsh shirt. His 111th cap has clearly done his hamstring. I can't imagine he'll be back out for the second half. Uh, will he be back in a Welsh shirt again? He makes his way a little bit forlornly down the tunnel. It's hardly been a game full of chances premium goal scoring opportunities a little bit of drama there but the united states leading iran doesn't help the welsh cause england at the moment top of the group but far from convincing wales sitting back playing to the game plan haven't conceded half time it is nil nil and it's nottingham born brennan johnson who's going to come on for wales 
and replace Gareth Bale. Johnson for Bale. That's the second change. The first, a concussion substitute. Connor Roberts replacing Nico Williams in the first half. Now Johnson for Bale ahead of the start of this second half. No changes for England. And they line up with Jordan Pickford in goal. Walker, Stones, Maguire and Shaw. Henderson, Rice and Bellingham. Foden, Kane and Rashford. Wales, Ward in goal. Roberts, Mepham, Roden and Davis. Allen and Ampadu. James, Ramsey and Johnson. And Moore up front. So here we go, back underway, England on the left-hand side, kicking from left to right, white shirts with a dark blue trim, dark blue shorts, Wales in red shirts and white shorts, and they're kicking towards the end of the ground that houses their support away to our left-hand side. Walker, back for Jordan Pickford. Pickford back out to Walker again in the early seconds of the uh, second half, still being played at a, a familiar England tempo from what we've seen over the last three halves of football. Ball out of play, turned over very quickly, throw taken by Ben Davis, trying to get the better of Rashford, who's done well to actually clip it forward and then make a run into space. So Jordan Henderson trying to play him in, but Roden's there first. He lays it back for Ward, who will clear right footed from the edge of the penalty area. Brought down by Rice. Stab forward towards Bellingham, out to the England left-hand side for Shaw. Shaw uh, combining quickly with Foden, who has swapped flanks with Rashford for this second half. And now Shaw has it again in the heart of the midfield, closed down very quickly. Foden has got himself up against Connor Roberts in this second period and uh, receives the ball now. Frank that he uh, ordinarily plays for for Manchester City. Down that left, Rashford switching out of the right. Wales can clear their lines towards halfway. Moore so adept at holding the ball up. No, not that long ago, was playing six-tier football in England for Truro City. Ball over the top from Ramsey. And Brennan Johnson has shoved Luke Shaw over. The ball went past him anyway. It's a free kick to England on the edge of their own penalty area. And two international legends alongside me. We'll hear from Stuart Pearce in a moment, but first here's Wales Dean Saunders. Uh, I think this is on, you know. England, if England don't put us to bed... I've got a feeling this, we're, we're going to get a chance in this game. That 1-0 that result is on. How the other game goes, we, we can't do anything about it. But right now, I'm happy with the way things are going. So as things stand right now, with the United States leading around by a goal to nil, Wales would have to win this by four. But if they can get themselves ahead and Iran can find an equaliser against the States... Wales would go through under those circumstances. So it is still relatively finely poised. And certainly the hopes haven't been extinguished as far as Wales are concerned. England, right now, will be going through as group winners. Rashford back for Walker. Walker facing his own penalty area, just plays the way that he is facing, goes back to Stone. Stones to Maguire, and Harry Maguire can bring it forward again. He plays Luke Shaw. In. Shaw to Foden, Foden coming in on that left hand side side, great injection of tempo from Foden, keeping the ball just on his feet on the edge of the box and going down in the penalty area, the contact was outside the box but he's won a free kick here in a really good area, four yards outside the penalty area and about ten yards left of centre. I tend to think this is Foden's best position to be fair on that left hand side coming in when we've played against them the last couple of years for Manchester City, he's either come off the bench or started the game, and, and he's been the one player that's caused us arguably the most problems. And I think he enjoys it better on that left-hand side coming inside. Well, no Kieran Trippier in the uh, England side. This is the kind of area that he's making his own from free kicks. But Marcus Rashford stands over it. Danny Ward looking pensive just getting the lines of communication right with that Welsh wall making sure that they're in the right place again Moore the tallest in the team stands as number two in the wall Rashford Henderson and Shaw the three players taking charge of the situation looks as though it's being set up for a direct shot from Marcus Rashford Henderson vacates the scene Shaw still stands over it 23 yards out, it's Marcus Rashford, oh, it is quite sensational, it's past Danny Ward into the top right hand corner, Marcus Rashford strikes first in the Battle of Britain in the World Cup.
Cup. England with a foundation to go through as group winners. And Wales might just have had the knockout blow administered to them. Rashford for England, who lead Wales 1-0. I've lost count of the times I've told Aid smash the ball goalkeeper's side. The first direct free kick that's gone in the back of the net at this World Cup and it happens to be somebody that's put a message on the ball, try and stop it if you can, I'm going to hit the target on the open side. Well, it was a moment of brilliance, that no consolation for Danny Wall and his fellow Welshman. No, you've got to say well done to Phil Bolden, he's run out of back four and uh, the free kick is Danny Ward's side and if he stands still he catches it right in front of his nose it's not gone right in the top corner but he's took a step to his right the wrong way panic that is if he stands where he is he saves that shot but now we've got a mountain to climb well, the last time these two met in a major tournament the side that scored first from a direct free kick ended up losing but five minutes into the second half Marcus Rashford's goal has given England the lead against Wales Kane playing across the six yard box and it's in for two from Phil Foden and England have scored twice in a minute and a half and Wales dream of World Cup triumph is coming to an end very quickly now as England's quick double strike gives them complete control of the group and a likely round of 16 tie with Senegal Kane flashing across the six yard box Foden taps it in his first World Cup goal and it's England 2 Wales nil in the blink of an eye well it's fair to say Wales couldn't do a great deal about the first one but certainly they could about the second the last thing they needed to do was uh, ship another goal and I think that's game personally yeah, we, we've, we're trying to play out from the back. How many times have you seen it? Trying to play out from the back and give it Ben Davis, not normally reliable, turns inside in the left, left back area. It goes to Harry Kane. Harry Kane squares it across the face. Chris Mepham's looking round Foden. And well done, Foden. You know, he's anticipated. Got in the box. And we've, we've gone 2 0 down in a flash. It's Phil Foden's first goal for his country for more than two years since he had a double strike against Iceland back in November 2020. His third goal for his country in 20 internationals, England lead 2-0. Wales wilting and looking dispirited now. Switched off after the first went in. And now the mountain decline has just become Everest. Kane has been pushed to the ground. England playing themselves into a little bit of form in this second half. Rashford on 50, Foden on 51, and England lead Wales by two goals to nil. Their fans have found their voice, and their Welsh counterparts have seen their fate confirmed, you would think, from here. It's a night that Wales have to win at the bottom line for them, and then see what happens in the other game. But they need three unanswered goals in 37 minutes to keep their hopes alive. Ampadu, riding the challenge of Henderson. Good reverse ball down the left-hand side of the penalty area. Moore will chase it. Maguire comes across, sweeps up, puts it out of play for a Welsh throw. Throw taken quickly by James. James back for Aaron Ramsey. Ramsey in turn for Ben Davis. Davis in the centre circle for Roden and... Now for Meppen, Meppen to Allen and swiftly back again. And now out towards the uh, Welsh right-hand side for Connor Roberts. And from this point of view, it should just about be game management as far as England are concerned, but there's more of a zip about them, there's more of an intensity, there's more of a belief since Rashford's free kick beat Ward and they're herring after everything now. they found the tempo, they've got some energy in the legs. Wells bring it forward though, flick round the corner for Ramsey with his bleach blonde hair Kiefer Moore waiting in the middle too high the cross for him, he might have been offside anyway back it will come down for Dan James down by the left hand corner flag James swinging it in and Pickford in the end I think 
let it go. He thought that he got his angles right. Seemed to go between his hands, but wide of the far post. And out of play for a goal kick. It's Wales nil, England 2 on Talk Sport. Dean Saunders. Yeah, he's, he's unlucky, Dan James. He comes back on his right foot and tries to bend it in the far corner. But that's the second game on the bounce. We've, we've conceded the second goal within a minute and a half. I think it's 98 seconds between the goals. We've done it against Iran as well. Uh, we put ourselves out the tie, so I begin to start thinking about the pride now and getting a result that's not a pasting. We don't leave the World Cup getting hammered and just play for your pride. Keith Moore has it, tries his left. Oh, deflection! And Pickford did really well to read it because he was going to his left, but it hit Maguire. And then it was swiftly going to Pickford's right, and he was able to change direction just before he committed himself, get a strong hand to it, and tip it round the post for a corner. First corner for Wales. Well done to Kiefer Moore there. Got the turn on, you knew straight away he was going to unload an effort, and uh, as you rightly say, Pickford not committing, and managed to uh, get back and parry away. Wells take the corner short, goes into the feet of Ramsey, back for James, high ball in from him, that took a slight deflection as well, and Maguire heads it away, but the offside flag is up. It's England 2, Wales nil. the United States still lead Iran by a golden nil, but they made a change at half-time in that game. Nigel Adley. Yes, Christian Pulisic, who scored the only goal for the US, has gone off injured. He was injured scoring that goal when he clattered into the goalkeeper. So Brendan Aronson of Leeds has come on. Saman Golos of Brentford has also come on for Iran and had their first effort on goal in the 52nd minute, but his header was over the top. The US leading by a goal to nil. Commentary on Talk Sport 2. At the moment, the US yeah. are going through. So the United States going through, England going through as group winners the way things stand at the moment. There's activity on the England bench. And now that they've got a, a lead and a little bit of wiggle room, they can rotate the pack. Here's Faker others. Triple substitution incoming, Jim. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Callum Wilson and a heavily strapped shouldered Calvin Phillips all making their way onto the pitch as Carl Walker comes up and the rest of the numbers go up. Or I'll let you take over, Jim Calvert. Yeah, so Walker coming off deck. Declan Rice is coming off as well and it's bound to be Harry Kane that will be uh, replaced here by Callum Wilson. But England with that two goal advantage have uh, earned the right now to give a few a rest. Yeah, they certainly have. Uh, I mean, before the game I was hoping that the likes of uh, Shaw, Kane and Rice didn't start because of the importance of them. He's managed to get two of them off and important to see Phillips coming on the pitch. He might be important as this tournament goes on for us. The other one for me is sure, if there's an opportunity to, to rest him and make sure he's fully fit for the next round, all well and good. But Wales have proved that they're not out of this tie yet, showing good spirit coming in, having their best two chances of the game. But they also have a player down injured at the moment, Dean. It's Ben Davis that is uh, down in need of treatment, and this is a uh, further concern. Well, yeah, he's our best defender. Um, steady Eddie Ben's get, getting a game for Tottenham every week and he has done for about five or six different managers um, I mean I'm looking at the goal again there we'll just give him a goal playing out from the back Ben turns in field with it gives it away Harry Kane great pass Fultz crept into back post 98 seconds though between the goals so just when I thought we were hanging on in 98 seconds we're 2-0 down yeah, just a quick one here Foden looks so much more comfortable on that side of the pitch for me than, than what we saw in the first 45 minutes I think that's his favourite position now does that put pressure on Grealish and Grealish um, will there be a clamour to put Grealish in the side for the next game who knows Ben Davis can't continue and Joe Morrell will come on to replace him and that now means that Wales have got more players on the field ball in England than ball in Wales Joe born in Ipswich who started all four games at Euro 2020 he's seen a little bit of action in this tournament one substitute appearance so far and he has uh, come on they've put Roberts to left back and they're swapping things around Ampadu has moved to right back and Morel is on in his customary midfield position Morel 
for Davis, the third Welsh change. England making a, a triple change. And I'll run through their team as it is right now for you in a moment. But Jude Bellingham has possession over on the England left. He's controlled it and Henderson's made a good run forward into the midfield. Bellingham found him. Henderson couldn't find Foden. And Wales win it back or work it back for Danny Ward. Beaten twice, laid on by the Iranians twice by England so far tonight. Wales nil England to the score after a static first half, a chaotic 90 seconds in which England scored twice. Firstly Rashford and then Foden. Wales playing it across the edge of their own penalty area. Working from the centre halves. Roden to Mecham, back for Ward and back again. So Wales now lining up with Ward in goal. We'll have to do it right back. Metalman Road in the centre half. Left back is Connor Roberts. Morrell anchoring the midfield. Ahead of him, Allen one side. Ramsey the other. And then Kiefer Moore through the middle. And Brennan Johnson wide on the right. And Dan James wide on the left. As James is in possession now. And he's taking on Marcus Rashford in a foot race. And James is quick. Rashford's done brilliantly to get back. Against his old Manchester United teammate. And then a poor challenge from Ramsey that will see him carded. She's catching Jordan Henderson who tried to play it up the right hand touchline. I'm sitting here with one headphone on and one off and I could hear the yelp of pain. There's no exaggeration as Henderson went down uh, on this near touchline. He just got caught there by Ramsey. No malice in him. Ramsey's still leaning over Henderson by way of apology but he's picked up a yellow card for the challenge. Yeah, I just hope Hendo is... Oh, I'll tell you what, that was a very poor challenge. And that could be ligament country, to be quite honest with you. I hope it's no more serious than that. So he's gone in with the studs of his right boot and has caught Henderson off the ground just above the ankle. Yeah, he has, but more importantly, or worse for, for Jordan, is the fact that he can't pull his leg away and ride the impact of it because it buckled underneath. And I'm not... Well, I hope he's OK, but it didn't look nice. Well, he's still down receiving treatment while he is. We'll get an update from the Alpha Mama. Iran against the USA. Talk sports and Nigel Adderley. And it's still USA 1, Iran 0, which will be enough to send the Americans through at the moment. But rather like in the Wales game, they've really dropped off the pace in the second half. Iran looking more dangerous, but they need a goal to go through with England. The USA leading 1-0, commentary on Talk Sport 2. The group has things stand at the moment, England 7, United States 5, Iran 3, Wales 1, England will play Senegal and the United States would play the Netherlands. The States-Netherlands game will be Saturday afternoon, 3 o'clock your time and the England-Senegal match if it ends this way and England win the group. That game is Sunday, 7pm your time and it's live of course on Talk Sport. Every game for the tournament live on the Talk Sport network, including tomorrow, Tunisia, France, and Australia, Denmark tomorrow afternoon. Seven o'clock is Poland, Argentina, and Saudi Arabia, Mexico. Now Jordan Henderson's back on his feet. And now Joe Roden has gone down and it's become very fragmented, very stop start. It's going to be a stack of stoppage time at the end of this game. Mason Mount on this near touchline is uh, just going through uh, a more energetic warm-up than of late and I wonder if he's going to be coming on in a moment. It's uh, hard to make a case for anything other than now than England winning the group and Wales finishing bottom of it. Yeah, I'm just thinking back there, we, we're in the game, the Phil Foden... You know, that's the type of thing the Spanish midfield players do. They pick the ball up and they run at you. If you, if you ask the defenders, they, they really don't like that when they get midfield players running at them. They don't know whether to stick or twist and the strikers peel off the sides of them. But he's caused the foul. And it's amazing how many times we see goalkeepers. That is your side of the goal. You have to save it if it comes that side of the, of the goal. The wall stops the other side and they take a step, for some reason, the wrong way, and he, Danny Ward done it and couldn't get back. Great strike though, I, can't, I don't want to take anything away from Rashford. Ward clears, flicked on by Moore, returned by Trent Alexander-Arnold high up in the air, one for his second World Cup game. His first of this tournament, Ball is uh, cleared, 
by Ward again. And Alexander Arnold uh, heading it forward once more. And Marcus Rashford is uh, caught offside. So England now with uh, Pickford and goal. Alexander Arnold at right back. Stones and Maguire and Shaw still as it was. And then it's Phillips, Henderson, Bellingham in the midfield. Rashford, Wilson and Foden are the front three. But Faker others a little bit more. And actually on the bench, Gareth Southgate just giving Kieran Trippier a, a tap on the back because he's going to be coming on now. Yeah, and uh, Luke Shaw, as you said, Jim, coming off. No doubt to protect him as Stuart Pearce has said throughout commentary. Really important that those key players are protected. Kieran Trippier coming in on the left. Uh, Trippier showing his versatility by uh, being able to come on on that side. Uh, Harry Kane, incidentally, who's made way, now has more assists than anybody else in this World Cup. He's got three which is more than any England player has had in a single tournament. And since David Beckham also had three back in 2002. I'm absolutely delighted to see Luke Shaw come off the pitch. The three players that I was very concerned about have contributed in the game, got England into a good place, and now they're safely sat on the bench. Roberts on the left-hand touchline. Faced up by Alexander-Arnold. Roberts laying it back again through the midfield for Joe Allen. Allen will also go backwards to find Morel. And Morel all the way back for Danny Ward. Callum Wilson putting the pressure on. Ward on the edge of the deke and send it spinning high right footed. Trent Alexander Arnold, England's number 18 in this World Cup, heads it away. And then Rashford will go up for it, but uh, James nods it down. And it's turned back by Roden safely enough. It was okay after the treatment that he received and he finds Ward. We're midway through the second half. It's Wales nil, England two on the night that Wales needed a win and a favour. And at the moment they're not getting either. Roberts play forward straight into Rashford. Is there a double ricochet back off Roberts? And the referee's assistant says no. Foden, incidentally, the sixth different England goal scorer at this World Cup, which uh, ties a national record. England had six different scorers in 2018, they've never had more. Here's Chris Meppham, Bournemouth man, bringing it forward from the centre half for the Welsh. Kiefer Moore made an early run, but it was 15 yards in behind the England back line. Meppham looked up. Ball is then clipped forward by Meppham at the second time of asking. Can't find Brennan Johnson. Wells haven't been able to get him into the game at all so far. And he goes out of play for a throw that Trippi is going to take on the England left-hand side. And with uh, the midway point of the second half now upon us, it's Wales nil England too. Yeah, one, one thing that's really pleased me is the fact that Walker's come through the game. He, he looks as though he's fully fit and, and from these early stages as well, Phillips has, has declared himself fit by the looks of his performance and uh, hopefully we'll go into the knockout stages with a fully fit squad. Maguire standing it wide for Trippier. Now Pickford. Back to John Stones. So Trippier's last 21 internationals. He's played 11 of them at left back and 10 at right back. And the versatility has been a real boom for Gareth Southgate. That's a great ball up the top from Calvin Phillips. Rashford is in behind Connor Roberts. Right hand side of the area. Checks. Gets it onto his left foot. Oh! It straight through Danny Ward for number three, and Marcus Rashford is now the joint leading scorer of the World Cup. England three goals for the good. Rashford's got two of them. A left-footed shot, fired between the legs of Ward. He couldn't get down quickly enough, get his hands to it, and he's come off his right instep and in behind him into the bottom left-hand corner. Wales races run, and England are through to the last 16 with a fair bit to spare. Well, he took the goal brilliantly, but um, we've got a problem on here at 2 now because there's nothing for us unless we go and attack. We're not very good when we're taking the game to the opposition. England are better when someone are coming at them. Um, and then they broke on us, and Rashford's got the ball. He's got him behind Connor Roberts, dropped his shoulder. Brilliant striker play, really, just shift, shift. He's hit it through Roden's legs, he's gone through Danny Ward's legs. But then I look across the halfway line, and we've got four players walking on the halfway line. How can that be right? It is England's 100th World Cup goal. They become the seventh nation to get to the century in World Cup history. Nine in this tournament so far, and Marcus Rashford has three of them. And you think how the Euros ended for him, and can still see, and most England fans can, 
that expression of pain across his face after the missed penalty in the final of the Euros. Well, it's now been replaced by the vision of a rapturous Rashford. Two goals for him tonight. And the ball is on the Welsh left with Jan Dan James. James to Ramsey. Ramsey to Roden. 20 minutes to go. Wales nil, England three. And the ball out on the Welsh right with Roberts. And Roberts will go back towards Ramsey again. And Wales just trying to string the passes together. They're just trying to get through the last 20 minutes or so now. Their fate long since assured. Moore trying to knock it back. Can't get to James. Alexander Arnold looking for the ball over the top. It was a peach of a pass from Phillips that had got Rashford in for that third goal. And Wales have it again now with Ramsey. Ramsey clipped forward. And it's over. Kieran Trippier. Brennan Johnson's got the better of him. And he's inside the area, pulling it back towards Moore. It was cleared by John Stones. And then England can mop up and get it forward towards uh, Callum Wilson, who's done well and then not so well. First of all, he survived the push from Meppen. But he tried to lay it back for Trippier and played it behind him. And it goes out of play for a throw. Here's Stuart Pearce. Yeah, good ball forward there by the Welsh. And Brennan Johnson's done really well cutting inside Trippier and sort of just run himself under the ball slightly. It's important that England finish the game on, on good habits, you know, keep pushing forward when they can. But I was pleased to see Phillips there with a wonderful forward ball, you know, and just encouraging Rashford and saying, look, you're a speed merchant, chase that. Roden. Receiving the ball from uh, Chris Mappen. Brings it to the edge of the centre circle. Plenty of fallout from... Uh, this result and performance will speak to the managers, the headline makers from both sides later here on Talk Sport with Faker, others doing the uh, interviews for us. We're on till 11 o'clock your time as Wilson brings it forward here for England as they look for four. Rashford on a hat trick, tries to uh, drive it in towards the near post and Wall got a better touch with his foot that time to divert it behind and out of play for a corner. Yeah, as I say, just reiterating what Dino said earlier, if you're going to get counter-attacked, you've got to have your players sprinting back towards your own goal quicker than the opposition. And once again on that occasion, four players looking back, just ambling back towards their own goal. And against England with a counter-attack threat, you cannot do that. So England with a corner, which is their first of the second half. It's going to be a left-footed in-swinger, but only once the referee is happy. But uh, there's not too much overzealous pushing and shoving going on inside the penalty area. It still continues as the ball's fired in, and Ward can claim it comfortably. 18 minutes to go on what's going to be an ignominious night for your countryman, Dean. What yeah. do you want to see from here? from Rob Page from his man not that it's passed across the edge of the own penalty area but Foden can't make the most of it and it's cleared actually by Mepham and Wales on the counter attack might have an opportunity he's played forward to Johnson Johnson running at Trippier who backs off and then gets in the way of the resulting shot well yeah we're just chasing the game now it's like going in the casino when you've lost your money and you're putting more on we're chasing the game um, if I was Robert Page now I'd be thinking damage limitation this could end up five or six. We can't have people four players wrong side of the ball. We're not going to get back in the game. So I've been thinking about keeping the score down and so we can leave the stadium with our heads held high. And I, I want to see every single player keep going right to the end. A little bit of concern, Faker, others, for a couple of England players who are just down for a moment there. Phil Foden in particular was holding the top of his foot. Danny Ward went over to check on him. He says he's OK and he sprinted back over to the corner. Well, Marcus Rashford was down on his haunches as well for a moment and that would be a concern with the form that he's shown. A couple of goals and a side of goal for a hat-trick. England have only ever had three World Cup hat-tricks in their history. Rashford eyeing up a, a little piece of history tonight. 17 to go to Wales nil England three and the Welsh have possession inside their own half and will try and bring it forward again but don't forget incidentally you can come and join us at the TalkSport Fan Zone we're showing every single game from Guitar Live in our massive venue near London's Waterloo and a good evening to those of you there tonight listening in you can get in for free to all daytime group matches book ahead for the knockout stages with tickets available for the last 16 games and go to talksport.com slash fan zone right now but you do need to be over the age of 18 to enter the fan zone 
Brilliant Johnson on the Welsh right hand side loses out Calvin Phillips has got it Phillips to Henderson who just protected the ball Trent Alexander-Arnold coming onto it lays it back for Stones and he goes back for Pickford Pickford on the left hand side of the six yard box plays a simple pass out towards Trippier Trippier with a brisk ball back for Maguire who's under pressure from Moore but he can't play it off him and out of play for a throw yeah, I think we've got a substitute coming on. I don't know. I think they'll be looking after either Foden or Rashford. Probably Rashford, I would suspect. Uh, it's Grealish about to come on. I would suspect it'll be Rashford. Who was looking over his shoulder at the bench, and that change is now being made. But what an ovation Marcus Rashford is getting from the England fans around you, Faker. Others away to our right. Yeah, a standing ovation from all the England fans, hands aloft for the clap. And he did look a little bit slow, as you mentioned there, Jim, coming off as uh, Jack Grealish enters the field of play. That's a concern. Rashford has been excellent. Had a much better season for Manchester United, and that form has transmitted itself to the uh, international stage as well. That changes also. I've seen a change in personnel, uh, Stu, because Grealish has gone over to the left and Foden has come back to the right yeah I mean this this is uh, Grealish's natural position on the left but for me I'd have left Foden where he's happy he's had impact in the game he's got himself a goal on that side of the pitch and I think he's more comfortable out there no jeopardy here at the uh Finale. Well, England leading by three goals to nil, still jeopardy in the other game, which the United States continue to lead, but they will go out if Iran can find an equaliser. We'll be back with Nigel in a moment. Trent Alexander-Arnold's got possession. And Wales are going to be bringing Harry Wilson on the next break and play. Here's Callum Wilson for England. The ball back off Alexander-Arnold, and he has uh, caught morale, and that will allow the Welsh to make the change. While they do so, we'll get an update from Iran against the USA. Nigel Adley. 16 minutes to play, it is still a run nil, USA won the first goal, the only goal in the first half from Christian Pulisic, who has since gone off injured, it's now very, very tense, Musa with a free kick, too high for the US, and Ezra Talahi with a curler which was over the top for a run, they need a goal to join England in the round of 16, it's 1-0 to the US, and it's live on Talk Sport 2. And the ball given away by Ramsey, Callum Wilson plays it into the left-hand side of the penalty area, Bellingham across the face of goal, Foden can't turn it in, England should have had a fourth, Ramsey head in his hands, it was an epic error, but it's one that hasn't been punished. Well, this is exactly what we've done against Iran, we've gone 4-2-4. Four, um, Aaron Ramsey saw trying to make it into a three, but I mean the two wide players are just standing up the pitch and walking back. I don't, I don't get it. You've got to dig in, to get his shape back in midfield, and trying to keep the score down. Yeah, as I say, I think the second goal, if not the third, has just ripped the heart out of uh, the intensity of the Welsh and certain. But as I say. If it takes you 58 years to get here, no matter what the scoreline is, you've got to leave everything on the pitch, work right wise Roberts. Back through the midfield now to the uh, Welsh right-hand side again, where uh, Ethan Ampadu is now playing at right back. Ampadu guarding it back inside his own half, played for by Mepham, Mepham into the... Fida Morel. And Wales have it once more. Wilson, back out of Ampadu, now down to the figure of Metal wearing five, Roden wearing six with the white boots down to the halfway line for Wilson, Wilson turning it back through the midfield again, well stringing the passes together, can't get out of their own half at the moment, England with a, a more unified press, uh, just trying to invite an error out of Joe Allen, but he got it away from Calvin Phillips, still the Welsh have it inside their own half, Steve Holland on the edge of the England technical area, waving everybody forward, trying to force the error out of the likes of Roden, but Allen's been fouled by Phillips, and it's going to be a free kick which will be taken by Wales inside their own half. Crowd are just a shade over 44,000 and the Welsh supporters away to our left hand side now largely silent. Uh, the team they might feel haven't done themselves justice over this uh, tournament. Roden clipping it right footed but can't find his man. 
And stepping forward, it was an easy header for Trippier to get there ahead of Johnson. Now Calvin Phillips back inside his own half. Stones to Maguire. And the play stops. The uh, referee spotted. There's a problem for one of the, the Welsh players who the, alerted the referee that he needed attention. Is it Joe Allen's? She's got a bang. So treatment uh, will be administered for him. Wales nil, England three. All over by the shouting with the ten minutes to go here on Talksport. I was just looking at the team on the pitch there, Jim. I mean, there's not a lot of difference, is there? The substitutions he's made. You've got Grealish has come on, Callum Wilson. Over this side of the pitch, you've got Trent Arnold, Foden, Alexander Trent Arnold, Foden, Anderson, Wilson up the top, Grealish on the other side, Calvin Phillips. It's still a brilliant team. They've got a brilliant squad. So I'm not going to be too harsh on our boys. They've tried the best. Only lack of effort I would ever have a go at them. Well, Allen's not going to be able to continue. And Ruben Colwell becomes the youngest ever Welshman to play at a World Cup. Can play in central midfield, he can play as a 10, he can play as a right winger. The uh, Cardiff boy is on. So Colwell for Allen is the fifth change. Here's Maguire for England, 10 to go plus a fair stack of stoppage time. It could easily be eight or nine minutes to be added on at the end of this. Alexander Arnold fall into the feet of Phillips. Foden coming to the touchline, spins it left footed over the top. Phillips uh, nodding it down. Foden just riding the challenge of Morrell, got it away from him to Phillips and out of the left hand side. Bellingham will play in Grealish. First chance for Grealish to test himself against Ethan Ampadu. Grealish doesn't try and take him on on the outside, he's just laid it back instead. Trippier goes back for Maguire and Maguire on halfway knocks it forward for Stones. We played 81 and it's 3 0 to England. Two Marcus Rashford goals and a Phil Foden one as well. Good ball from Maguire out of the left hand side, taken on by Grealish. Grealish inside the penalty area for Bellingham. He couldn't find a way through past Meppen. And it's cleared relatively easily by the Welsh back line. And Maguire just comes across and hammers it high up into the air, looking for Rosette. Out of play for a throw that Brennan Johnson will take for Wales. I think once again, both Maguire and Stone's not been tested a great deal, but they've offered a a good solid base play out from the back albeit a little slow at times but they've offered a real solid base for England to play from a reminder that it's still the United States won Iran nil that game life for you right now on TalkSport 2 huge amount of jeopardy there back with Nigel in a moment but the Welsh have it with Meppen Meppen's right footed ball chased by Key for more who uh, just got himself in a tangle there with Maguire who's brought him down and it's a free kick to Wales in what would have been bailed territory it's right of centre uh, Morrell comes across and has a word with the referee I think suggesting that that should be a yellow card offence but it's a, an opportunity for Wales to get one on the board here Dean yeah Harry Wilson can uh, whip balls over the wall we've seen him doing it for Fulham don't know whether he's going to take this I think he is don't be surprised if this ends up in the top corner. So Wilson stands, hands on hips, then gets the ball, spots it down. The spray has been put down a yard outside the penalty area and England are lining up a, a wall of four. Everybody else, as you would expect, back around the edge of the box. I personally think, Jim, there should be a blueprint for free kicks. 24 yards and closer. You should be going goalkeeper side, 24 yards further out, up and down over the wall. Well, Wilson just, sm Wilson just smacked it straight into the wall. He went out of play for a throw. He received the uh, ball back off the hoardings and punched it into the ground in frustration. And that's just been one of those nights as far as Wales are concerned. Two goals for Marcus Rashford, who is the first Manchester United player to score three at a major tournament for England since Bobby Charlton at the 1966 World Cup. Left hand side of the penalty area, Alexander Arnold is doing his best to try and stop Roberts delivering, Colwell works it in, Moore went to ground on the edge of the box, play goes on, it might come for Colwell, cuts across it, but sends it over the bar, out of play, into the Welsh support, six minutes of their World Cup dream remaining. Yeah, I think rebuild time for us, I think... Um Robert Page are probably thinking about that anyway what we're going to do when the World Cup's over 
I think we've got a, a nucleus of some good young players there. Nico Williams, Connor Roberts, David Brooks, Harry Wilson, Colwell, Roden. Um, and I think he's got to build the, the new team. That, you know, like John Toshak started with this group. I think we need to do that again and blood the youngsters and give them a load of caps before they're 25. The key to that is hopefully getting a couple of superstars through from that that are, are able and adequate to play in the top teams around Europe, if humanly possible. And they, they normally carry teams, don't they, Dean? Like Bell has, like Ramsey has, like Joe Allen has. Yeah. We need... Uh, we've got a good setup. The under-21 team are good. The 1917s are good. So we just have to blood them. There's Alexander Arnold, Foden put on the deck and uh, complaining about it to the referee who didn't think it was a foul and play goes on uh, the Welsh fans have gone for another rendition of Men of Harlech and determined to sing their side of the line here there's some Maguire and Stones again combined passes John Stones who started every outfield game in the last three tournaments for England, ball play for by Henderson. Oh, Callum Wilson with a little drop of the shoulder. That was enough to deceive Chris Meppen, uh, but he couldn't get past Roden as well. And then Roberts will work it all the way back to his goalkeeper. Ward slicing it high up in the air. It's not even going to get close to halfway. Comes back off the uh, top of Wilson's head. Colwell mops up in the midfield for Wales and sends it wide, but Ampadu can't keep it in. And then he goes out for a throw that will be taken on the England left. Four to go here. 3-0 to England. What's happening in that Stacey Rand game, Nigel? Six minutes to play here. It is still 1-0 to the USA, but Iran are piling on the pressure. They've had their first effort on target. Saman Godos unable to put the ball beyond the goalkeeper, Turner, from very close range. The first chance that Iran have really had in the second half. They complained about a potential handball, and one of their subs, who was warming up, has now been booked by the referee, Antonio Machir Lajos. It's really, really... The US are clinging on, leading by a goal to nil. This game over on TalkSport 2. Kiefer Moore blasts one over the bar. He's got himself into a good position on the edge of the D. That sent it way into the Wales supporters uh, back behind that goal. And it's out of play for a goal kick that uh, England will take. Three to go. England winning this group. Uh, a reminder of the results from earlier today. The Dutch beat Qatar by two goals to nil. Ecuador won Senegal two. And that means that the Dutch won Group A as expected. Senegal going through in second place. So the winners of England's group, which will be England, will play Senegal. It's Sunday night, 7 o'clock. It's live on Talk Sport. The Dutch, for their part, as they stand at the moment, will get the United States. But still a long way to go in that. States hanging on from pictures we can see. Three to go. It's Wales nil, England three here at the Ahmed Ben Ali Stadium. Dean Saunders. Oh, I'm gutted. I, got, I can't hide it. I'm trying to uh, lift my spirits, but uh, I honestly thought we had a chance, especially going into half time at nil nil. The other game's right on a knife edge as we thought it might be. But within 98 seconds, England have shown their class, and it was always going to be a tall order for us. But we had a chance, but could we stop England scoring over 90 minutes? No. Well, England have now scored nine goals in the group, which they've never done before in a major tournament, either in the World Cup or the European Championships. They are, as things stand, the leading scorers in this World Cup in terms of uh, raw goals, not in terms of goals per game. So Spain has scored eight from two games, England nine from three. But they are the leading scorers in the World Cup. I wonder if Gareth will mention that in his press conference. Uh, Faker others will be speaking to Gareth Southgate and to Rob Page and to the headline makers from both sides as well. Here on TalkSport will bring you all the reaction here on TalkSport between the conclusion of this game and 10 o'clock tonight. Then your chance to react on the sports bar tomorrow morning. Uh, Dean is uh, with Gabby Agbonlaw, Laura Woods and Ali McCoy Stewart on with Simon and Jim White and Jordan tomorrow between 10 and 1 both those programmes live from Qatar here on Talk Sport as well Jude Bellingham's got the ball in the midfield for England he's laid it back for Maguire Maguire not too far outside the box back for Pickford again Pickford controlling it just rolling it out 
Maguire playing forward. The Welsh have certainly can't be accused of leaving anything on the pitch. They've done everything they can. There was a poor challenge from Ampadu there, and he'll be uh, spoken to by the referee. Free kick to England that Bellingham wants to take quickly. It's just a little bit more of a zip from England. There was a nervousness about them in the first half, but the game changed instantly when Marcus Rashford scored that free kick. England's self-belief came back to them as if they just opened the fridge and pulled it out on a plate. And it disappeared from the Welsh just as quickly. 3-0 England leader, two for Rashford, one for Foden, the first two goals coming in the space of 98 seconds and only about 40 seconds of play on the field. Pickford inside his D, to his right hand side, we'll find out in the moment how many extra minutes are going to be added on, the Japanese fourth official has the numbers board in the hand, it'll be played for here for Callum Wilson, oh he's got between the two centre halves here, Wilson, right hand side of the box, four additional minutes to be played, Alexander Arnold, chipping it up towards the edge of the penalty area might break for Wilson England looking for a fourth Foden on the corner of the penalty area trying to thread it through Robert stops it going out of play for a corner has he? no not quite England will shape up to take this corner another update from Nigel Adley and we're into the final three minutes here it is still a run nil USA won a run of piling bodies forward Carlos Quiros out on the edge of the technical area waving more and more players into the US box but at the moment a US team which has brought on two more central defenders is standing firm they lead 1-0 they're going through and Iran equaliser and they would go through England take this corner with Foden it's very deep Maguire trots back heads it across the edge of the six and it's blasted over the bar by Stones left footed from six yards out well if you're going to miss a chance like that do it on a day when it's academic don't want to have a miss like that in the round of 16 now he knows he should have scored should have been his third career World Cup goal I would like to say we've all missed them I'm not sure I've missed one like that they know you I've seen you score from all angles Stuart and you know the free kicks you're on about what about the Pierce pile driver <laughs> I can safely say I've never missed one from there but I've never got myself into those positions in the first place to be able to miss them from there I have missed a chance for 15 years when did you retire? 18 years ago I haven't, oh. I haven't officially retired <laughs> I'm having a look at some of the players out there and I think I've still got a chance of getting a game yeah, it's a free kick that uh, England are going to take he's another Welshman uh, down hurt at the moment uh, Jordan Henderson stands over it now the reaction to the end of Wales World Cup campaign is uh, going to be very interesting and it'll be heartfelt an assessment of exactly how Wales have done the positives the negatives the mistakes that have been made potentially ball over the top from Henderson Callum Wilson got in goal side of his man but the referee's blown the whistle and has asked for the free kick to be retaken so Henderson spots it down in the midfield again little one two between him and Phillips England happy to work it back Alexander Arnold to Henderson Henderson did him uh, no favours with the return ball but he was able to uh, bring it under control Jordan Henderson has covered more ground than any other England player uh, according to the statistics just flashed up on the big screen here Pickford playing it out to his right hand side for Stones Stones out of the penalty area for Calvin Phillips Phillips to the edge of the centre circle. Bellingham takes it on the half turn and works it wide for Grealish. Grealish trying to get the better of Cole. That's a lovely touch. Makes the return ball. Bellingham can't play him in. And two bodies in conjunction there. Bellingham will be able to pick it back up again thanks to an intervention from Calvin Phillips. And then Bellingham plays it forward and finds Grealish. He can turn. Henderson, good touch back to him. Grealish right in the challenge. Staying on his feet. Still Jack Grealish goes into the feet on the edge of the area where Wilson will try and turn. He can't get a shot in. Foden can, but so many pairs of legs in the way that the shot was blocked and it's put out of play for a throw. A real skirmish there, all started by Jack Grealish, dribbling, dribbling, into the box, then Wilson's had a dig at it, and Foden's had a dig at it, Grealish has had another dig, and in the end, Wells clamber it away to a throw-in. 
England are going to win the group. The state's going through with them as things stand, but still he ran on the front foot. Desperate defending going on in that game. Live for you right now on TalkSport 2. In the final seconds here, as Henderson clips it in, and the full-time whistle signals the end of Wales' first World Cup campaign since 1958. The campaign that ends in frustration. One Gareth Bale goal to show for it, one point to show for it against the United States. The disappointment of the defeat against Iran, the disappointment of the defeat against England, which will have hurt under these circumstances. They came into tonight knowing they needed a win and a miracle. Well, they're not going to get either. Beaten by three second-half goals. England not great in the first 45 minutes, but plenty good enough in the second. Wales losing bodies to injury, losing a little bit of heart, losing another game, and losing their place in the World Cup. England win the group. They go through to the round of 16 where they play Senegal. And Wales now just have to rebuild and get themselves back into this kind of position again in four years' time. Sweet Caroline emanates around the Ahmed Bin Ali Stadium in Al Rayyan as England win the Battle of Britain. They've beaten Wales by three goals to nil in what's an ignominious end potentially to two or three very significant Welsh international careers.